Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to be decorating my Christmas tree, and I'm super excited because it is Vlogmas day one, but what I'm most excited about is I have teamed up with Jessica from Really Jess to bless one of you guys this holiday season. So we will be posting a video every day from December 1st to December 25th, and there will be letters in each video. All you have to do is write down all of those letters and figure out the phrase and then submit your answer to us. We will be blessing one of you guys with a $50 Amazon gift card as well as some of our favorite cleaning products. Or if you aren't interested in the cleaning products, we will give that money to you on the gift card. So be sure to tune in every single day to collect those letters. I will link Jessica's channel in the description box below, but let's go ahead and get started. So I saw this really cute tree skirt on Pinterest and I wanted to show you guys how I made it. So what you wanna do is measure the base of your tree. Mine was 22 inches and then I added two inches to that. And then I just took the string that was tied to a pencil and measured half. So I measured 12 inches and so then I took some cardboard and I just drew a circle and then I took my X-Acto knife and cut out the circle. I want to take a second to better explain how Jessica and I will be doing Vlogmas. So we'll both be posting on December 1st, but then we are going to alternate days. So I will be posting every other day and she'll be posting on the days that I'm not every day from December 1st through December 24th. And there will be letters in every single video. So be sure that you're subscribed to both of us. That way you don't miss out on any of the letters and you can enter the giveaway at the end of Vlogmas. You'll also need a yard and five eighths of your favorite fabric. I chose burlap because it goes with my theme, but you'll just lay out the fabric and then lay the cardboard and the base down on top. And I just kind of quickly folded it up to make sure that everything would fit before I went ahead and added the polyfill. Next, I went ahead and put the bottom section of the tree in the base. That way, when I pulled all the fabric up, I could go ahead and just tie it to the bottom section of the tree. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, <laughs> I should have cut the cardboard maybe a little bit smaller because it was hard to um, get all of it to wrap around the bottom of the tree. Um, I did have to play with it for a little while, but it ended up working out and you can't tell. Before I got started fluffing the tree and putting the lights on, I wanted to go ahead and light my balsam and cedar candle from Kirkland's and it smelled so good and I just love that smell, especially when I am decorating the tree. I didn't want to bore you guys with a ton of footage of me just fluffing my tree and putting lights on, so I cut a lot of it out, but I wanted to include some of it, that way you guys saw the process. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop When the bell on the door jingled once more But somehow I knew and maybe so By the time I got the tree fluffed and all the lights on, I was tired, it was getting kind of late, so I decided to give it a break for that night and pick it up the next day. Christmas 
So it's the next day and I decided to start decorating the tree by adding some deco mesh and all I did was take the mesh and tuck it into the tree and took one of the smaller branches that are closer to the center of the tree and wrapped that around that way it would hold it in place and it kind of looked like the mesh was coming out of the tree and I did that about every foot. This was my first year adding a lot of ribbon and stuff to my tree. I usually just put a lot of ornaments on it and I was a little intimidated by this mesh. I had seen it all over and I thought it was beautiful but it looked so intimidating but honestly it was so easy to work with. I'll definitely be picking up some more so that I can add even more of it to my tree next year. Next, I started adding the burlap to the tree, and as I was decorating this tree, I realized I have got to stop standing in these bar stools. I really have got to get a little step ladder to keep in the house because it is so dangerous with me standing in these chairs, but it's all I had. So just know that I am on the lookout for a little step ladder. If you guys are going to be using the burlap from Hobby Lobby that's in the Christmas section and you're going to be wrapping it around your tree, I would say definitely get more than one roll just because I only got around my tree about one and a half times. Luckily, I had some more um, with some of my craft stuff and I was able to use that, but definitely get more than one roll. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the buffalo plaid ribbon and I couldn't decide if I wanted to layer it on top of the burlap or just kind of add it throughout the tree. So I decided to just add it on its own but what I did instead of doing it how I did the other two was I just cut sections that way I could randomly add it to the tree. So once I got it tucked and the branch wrapped around it I just went ahead and cut off a piece and then moved on to the next one. So here's how everything looks before I put on the ornaments. Kinda walk you around so that you can see. I will um, have my mom make a bow. I'm terrible at making bows, but I'll have my mom make a bow out of the buffalo plaid to put on top of the tree. But yeah, that's how everything looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding the ornaments to the tree and I started with these smaller ornaments first but then I realized hey maybe I need to um, stop and add my larger and more interesting ornaments first that way I can get them placed where they need to be and work around those with these smaller ornaments and kind of fill in any gaps so you'll see me stop in just a second and start adding my larger more accent piece ornaments let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for you yeah. I thought I had a lot more white ornaments than these six that I bought from Hobby Lobby, but turns out I didn't. I had a lot of silver and a lot of red, so I will be adding some more white. I just need to purchase some and get them on the tree um, because I was going for more pops of red, but it kind of ended up that I was doing more pops of white. So I actually need to get some more white ornaments and add those. And I think then I'll be super satisfied with how it looks.
now I'm going to go ahead and add these berry picks to the tree. I actually, once I got the bow on top of the tree, took some of these out and put them on top as kind of a topper with the bow. And I really like the way it looks, but I definitely want to pick up some more. That way I can add some more to um, the rest of the tree. Here is a final look at how everything turned out. Other than adding a few more white ornaments, I absolutely love it. Will has made several comments about it and he really likes it too. So I hope this inspired you guys to decorate your tree. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please be sure that you are subscribed. That way you don't miss out on any of the Vlogmas videos and you can enter the giveaway. Also, be sure to check out Jessica's video. I will leave her channel linked below and I will see you all very soon. Bye!